Okay, so we did up to nine point one zero, right? Okay. Yes. So next one is. So they are saying asking uh, determine. Which of these two quantities they are rational numbers? Okay, so there are uh, two fractions or rational numbers. So they are big quantities, but without computing, or do that using a large calculator, you have to figure out uh, which of them is bigger. B would be bigger. Okay, why? Um. Hmm, actually, let me think of an explanation for it. Sorry. Yes. Well, looking at it again, I see that A is larger, but I'm not too sure how to explain it. Okay, so one observation what I can see is the difference between the numerator and the denominator is one, right? Yes. In both of the cases. Okay. So what I can do is I can write uh, this quantity as one minus one over this quantity right whatever wow. is in the denominator and this also i can write one minus yes now can you compare oh yes you can see that a is larger because it's being uh, one is being minus by a smaller number. Okay. Yes. So the argument is uh, the denominator. So let us don't have to write everything every time the big numbers. So this is x and this is y. Mm, then what I have is uh, this x is uh, larger than y. So this implies 1 by x is less than 1 by y, right? Oh, so, yes. Use the clauses to prove. Now, the thing is, um, if I take negative, again, it will be bigger, right? Inequality will change. Now, I'm just adding a positive quantity. So, 
has the quantity on both sides so it will remain unchanged so a is greater than b okay yes okay all right So the next thing is okay, try to do this one. So same question, which one is larger? So square root of three square root of five or six. Uh, six root. Uh, the six two one would be larger. Yes. What will be the value if you take uh, inside? It would be root 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 seventy two. Right. Other one will be. Uh, forty five. Right. So this one is larger. Part B is. Uh, almost the same idea, but instead of square root, there is a uh, cube root. So this thing, and cube root is now outside, and six root two. Square root of. Three cube root five would be larger. Okay, how are you doing? Tell me. Uh, so I put three into the cube root under five, so that would come out as one hundred thirty-five. Okay. And then other one. And then the other one, I put it under the square root to get seventy-two. Right. So that it doesn't the, matter what order you do the cube root and square root in, so... Yes, yes, that is it. Right. Oh. So, the next one they're asking. So, you have, in the denominator, you have 1 plus 2 up to... 100 and on the other side you have 2 to 101 so which one is larger So I set the 1 to 100 as yes. x, and then the 2 to 101 as y. Okay. And you can just uh, see from uh, the addition that x would be less than y. Mm, yes, so x will be less than y. And then if you take the reciprocal of both... Yes, 1 by x will be bigger than 1 by y, right? So, in fact, you yes. can uh, see that it is just x plus 100, right? Oh, yes. Right. So, yes. So, the thing is 1 by x will be greater than 1 by y. Yes. So next one is you have three quantities, square root of two, cube root of three, and fifth root of five. Okay, so you have to order from the least to the greatest.
It would be five root, uh, five root of five is the least, and then cube root of three is in the middle, and then square root of two is the greatest. Okay, tell me how are you doing? Uh, so I converted it into their exponent form, so two to the power of half. Okay. To the power of one third, and then five to the power of one fifth. Okay. Yeah. And to oh wait. Hmm. Never mind. That method doesn't prove it. I'm not too sure then. Yes, the thing is, uh, what we saw yesterday is, so either you have to make the exponents same or the base same, right? Then only you can compare. Right? Oh, yes. So, yes, here you can actually uh, try to make the exponents same. So then what you have to do? Oh, so you put 2 to the power of half to the uh, put that to the power of 2 over 5 mm, no no I don't understand uh, tell me I'll write down 2 to the power uh, 2 to the power of half would be put to the uh, it itself would be in parentheses put to the power of 2 thirds I mean 2 fifths right uh to make the exponent the same okay but the, the the thing is the number also you have to remain constant right so the this uh, this quantity cannot change right oh yes okay so do try, try it like this so, so do uh, first two quantities you compare then we'll do the three quantities together Try to compare two things first. Okay.
struggling to keep the value constant yes the thing is uh, what does okay so suppose you have um, two cube you take right right yeah so the thing is uh, so suppose you want to uh, make the power same right so then what you have to do the thing is suppose i have uh, the lcm should be same right so that is the how i can make the powers same right so the thing is the common between half and one third is one sixth, right? Yes. Right. So if I uh, the only way I can make the power common is making uh, the power one sixth, right? In both of them. Oh. Okay. okay. So then what will be adjusted? So if I make the uh, power one sixth, then I have to do two cube and then one sixth, right? Because that is the that is how I keep the value same and make the power one six, right? Oh yes, you got that concept for some reason. So three square and it is one sixth, right? So it is uh, now eight to the power one sixth and nine to the power one sixth, right? Oh okay, yes, I see. Oh uh, yes, now we have to make it uh, equal to. Uh, make it uh, equal with uh, five power one by five, right? So one sixth and one fifth is again we have to one by thirty. That is the equivalent thing I can make, right? Yes. What will be that? Tell me. <coughs> Sorry. It would be uh, eight power five right. to the one thirtieth, and then nine power five. Okay. And then five power six. All right. So now, how will you compare? Um, you can expand them. Yes, uh, that you can do, but I don't think you need, right? Because, because first of all, eight power five and nine power five uh, that we know, right? Yes. That nine power five will be bigger. But now, uh, what about uh, five power six and eight power five? How can you compare them? Right. So. So this part is clear that um, two power one third, sorry, two power half is less than three power one third, right? Yes. Okay. So now uh, one more thing, what I can do is uh, the thing is uh, so uh, one guess is so here five we are multiplying six times, right? That is five power six, right? Yes. And here are eight. We are multiplying five times. So only the number of times it is differing by one, but eight is a bigger quantity than five, right? Yes. So the guess is that this one will be smaller than this one, right? Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, but the thing is uh, that is uh, that is not obvious. I Means yes, that is just intuition, but you have to prove, right? But that we can uh, prove from now just comparing these two quantities. So if I bring down two power half and five power one by five together and equate it to same powers, then it becomes two power five to the power one by ten and five square to the power one by ten. Right. So here you can yes. actually see that it is thirty two and this is ten. So you can claim that this one is bigger. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So just uh, uh, remember. Sorry, this is not ten. This is twenty-five. Ah oh, yes, but the inequality is still same. Yes. So yes, just to remember the steps, then it will be clear. So this is fine, right? Yes. Okay.
you think uh, part a is fine let us try part b so which one is larger 2 power 81 or 3 power 49 
Yes, any idea? Mm, no. Yes, the thing is, uh, one hint what I can give is, yes, of course, neither you can make the base same nor you can make the power same, right? Yes. Right. So the thing is, uh, can we find a power that is uh, closer uh, and uh, to each of these quantities? Means what I wanted to say is, can I find something 2 power A and some power 2 power B that are closer to these quantities and that we can compare easily? Okay. So the hint you understood, right? Yes, I'm just not too sure how to right. use it. So the thing is uh, 81, uh, a number near to 81 and a number near to 49, uh, which is uh, which will be easier to compare. That is 80 and 50, right? So, oh, okay. So if I take uh, 2 power 80 and if I take two power, 3 power 50, right? Now I can compare both of them, right? Because this is nothing but 2 power 8 whole power 10. Right? Oh, yes. Yes, now which one will be bigger? Uh, two power eight would be larger. Mm, sure, means I I have to check. Hmm. 
Mm, yes, to what it is not. So yes, from here can we say something? So what I got is two uh, power eighty is bigger than three power fifty, right? Yes. So since the power is increasing for two and decreasing for three, then right. So two power eighty one is bigger, and three power forty nine is smaller. So this implies hmm, two eight two power eighty one is the large is larger, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. So one more part is there. Part C. So here you have two power eight forty five and five power. Three sixty-two. So, which one is bigger? So this is more or less the same idea, right? Hmm. Yes. I'm just trying to find the value okay. that they could go to.
So I set the value of the five power three sixty two to five power three fifty and then two to two power eight fifty. Mm, okay. So two power eight fifty and three power sorry, five power three fifty are comparing. Yes, what you're doing next. And I, and then from that divided by, uh, well, not divided by, uh, did the, to the power of one over 50. Oh, wait, sorry. Two to the power of 17. Yes. Uh, to the power of 50. Okay. And then five power 7 to the power of 50. Okay. And from that, I found that 2 power 17 is larger. 2 power 17 is larger, okay. And so I concluded that then two, uh, since two power eight fifth, oh wait. Hmm. Can't be sure that two power, oh. hmm, that doesn't work. So I think you have to make eight, eight forty, right? Uh, because yeah. you are, if you are guessing the higher power, means two power this thing is bigger, then you have to go less in that power, right? Yes. Mm. Uh, so the thing is, uh, suppose uh, we are guessing uh, uh, this thing is bigger, then I have to get a lesser power, but a bigger power for five, and here is 362 right so this is the yes. thing right so maybe you can choose 840 and this has 370 like that you can do or anything else uh, which one is suitable mm. oh okay i just found that that would create a very Easily identifiable viable number. Yes, yeah, so three seventy. If it is not does not work, what about three eighty? Uh, something you have to figure out, or maybe four hundred also. Uh, maybe four hundred and eight hundred. Will it work? That also you have to think. I think four hundred and eight hundred will uh, not work because that I was checking because eight for. So that is two power eight is uh, two fifty six and five power four is six twenty five. But this is uh, smaller, so that inequality will change. So then uh, this part is uh, not that will not work. Yes. Hmm. And now, if we uh, think that this one is bigger, then you have to try a different way. We have to go less than this one and make it this one bigger that also you can try yes which is what i was trying to do but then two power 17 still came out larger um, yes, yes so what i'm saying is uh, this uh, 370 uh, can we make it uh, simpler for example, uh, so thing, uh, thing 37 is a prime that we are having a difficulty. So 362, right? So if I take 365, that also will work, right? 
so now can we take some power common so what is the gcd of this thing the gcd would be 5 okay then that is not much much our help Mm. Okay, so three seventy will not work. What about uh three eighty? That will be, I think, uh, twenty. We can take out twenty common, right? Yes, yeah, so it would be more helpful. Yes. So you would get two power forty two. Okay. And then to the power of twenty. Right. And then five power nineteen power to the power of twenty. Yes, but uh, that also you have to calculate, right? Yes. Yes, yeah, so this is the idea. Means you have to find a, you have to find a number that is uh, more clear, um, that is more uh, easier to compare between these two numbers. Okay. Yes. Okay. So maybe you can try this one later. Then we can again discuss. Yes. So let us move on. Okay, so next what you have is you are saying something? Sorry? No, you are saying something? No, I didn't say anything. Okay. So next section is uh, something called uh, linear inequalities. So what they are uh, saying is 9.3. So suppose you have these type of things. Suppose there is... So suppose you have three x minus seven, greater than x minus two x. Okay. Then you have to actually find what is the relation of x. Right. So means you have yes. to isolate x in one direction and get a condition of x. Right. Yes. I think this type of things you know, right? Yes. So from here, what I get is five x is greater than equals to eight plus seven is how much? Fifteen. Fifteen. So from here, I can say that x is greater than or equal to three, right? Yes. Right. So this is more or less uh, this quantity. And suppose you have hmm, suppose there is an inequality uh, chain like this. Square two x two x two plus x and five minus three x. And greater than eight. Suppose you have this thing. So they are asking so how to solve this, how to get a condition on like this. The condition on x. Oh, okay. Yes, so I just uh, just I'm just disturbing you. Just for the previous problem, what I uh, what I was thinking, uh, it came into mind. So eight forty five, right? So yes. this I can write as eight plus eight uh, forty, uh, right? Sorry, five plus eight forty, right? Yes. And three sixty two. Uh, this I can write as.
this is not exactly solving but uh, hint so 362 is 2 plus uh, 360 right yes okay so now 840 and 360 this has a common means uh, this has a good common thing that is uh, 120 you can have right so it is 7 times 120 and this is uh, 3 times 120 right yes right so uh, 2 power 845 what i can write is 2 power 5 times 2 power 7 whole power 120 right yes okay and the other quantity is it's 5 square times 5 power 3 whole power 120 okay ah uh, okay i see so now the thing is uh, okay i have no not much space but anyway the thing is 2 power 7 i think it is 128 right yes so 2 power 5 times 128 uh, and time power 120 so 2 power 5 is 32 let me write that also and this is 25 times 5 cube is 125 power 120 right yes so 128 power 120 is already bigger than 125 power 120 right yes and then 32 is also bigger than 25 right. okay okay Yes, fine. Okay, so now you can do this one. I found no solutions. Mm, okay. Yes. How are you doing that? Uh, so looking at five negative three x is larger than eight. Yes. Negative three x would be larger than three. Meaning okay. that x would have to be less than negative one yes but then if you look at 2 plus x larger than 8 x has to be larger than 6 so it contradicts and both conditions cannot be met yes so yes this is a contradiction So next one is actually a word problem, but that is uh, simple. I think uh, the thing is, uh, they're saying that I'm thinking of a number three times uh, more than, so I'm doing 9.15. I'm thinking of a number three uh, more than twice my number is less than 17, right? Okay. So it is uh, 2n plus 3, suppose my number is n. So this is less than 70 and but at but at least one all right so this is greater than equals to minus one this is what they're saying right 
if my number is an integer what are the possible numbers right so this is just simple you just uh, hold each side so from here you have 2 and less than 14 right yes yeah, so n is less than 7 and then you can do the other side yes and greater or than or equal to negative 2 All right so it will from negative 2 to uh, up to 6 all the integers can be my solution right because it is strictly less than 7 right yes Okay. So, so the uh, this uh, problem you understood, right? This uh, integer power, wala. This integer. Yes, I did. Okay. So maybe today we'll stop here. Okay. Hmm. Bye. Goodbye.